So let's say I want to write each of these as a single fraction in their simplest form. Okay, so if we're going back here to a GCSE just to make sure that we're happy with this stage, uh, and we're going to be using cross multiplication. So we want uh, 5 times 1 plus 2 times 3 over 3 times 5. That's the method I'm going to be using. So 1 times 5 plus 2 times 3 over 3 times 5. And so this would be 11 fifteenths. OK, so that, that is in its simplest form. So when we get on to algebraic fractions like this, it's much the same method. OK, 1 lot of x minus 1 plus 1 lot of x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 over x minus, uh, x plus 1 times x minus 1. So we've got 1 lot of x minus 1 plus 1 times x plus 1 over x plus 1 times x minus 1. OK, so the numerator can be simplified to just 2x. And so that's 2x over x plus 1, x minus 1. Let's have a look at number 3. Same method. OK. So we've got 3x times x plus 5. So 3x squared plus 15x uh, plus 1 times 4 over 4 lots of x plus 5. So 4x plus 20. OK, and that's as simplified as that fraction can go. With number 4, we've got 2x minus 1 times x plus 5. So 2x minus 1 times x plus 5. Take away, because there's a take away there. That's why we always start with that diagonal, to make sure we're in the correct order. 3x times x plus 2 divided by x plus 2 times x plus 5. Okay, I'm only going to uh, multiply out the numerator. So we've got 2x times x, that's 2x squared. We're going to get a minus 3x squared there, so minus x squared altogether. We've got 2x times 5, so 10x. Take away x, so that's 9x. Then take away 6x, so that's 3x. And then we've got minus 1 times 5, so minus 5. So that's what's on the numerator. We've got x plus 2, x plus 5 in the denominator. OK, and that's as far as I'm going to go with that.